All right, so the last thing that we're going to talk about are two conditions two conditions for the the last state, the end state, which is juice post juice post balloon. Okay. Um in talking about um Okay, sorry. Um, in talking about the end game, right, in talking about the, the last two conditions, we want to make sure that there is just punishment, right? We want to make sure that there's just punishment. Obviously, now the war is concluded, right? If there were infractions during the war, right, uh, if there were infractions during the war, for example, if number one was violated, if non-combatants were deliberately targeted, or if um, POWs were deliberately tortured or maimed, um, then we have to make sure that there's going to be punishment for those acts. There are individuals that need to be held accountable. Um, probably uh, the most famous um, just post bellum trial uh, would be the Eichmann trials, right? During uh, immediately after World War II, right? Um, there has to be some sense of accountability so that anytime we're talking about war and conflict um, after the war there's always going to be a review of the events of the war while the war was actually occurring um, and what we're going to do as an international community um, is we're going to hold people accountable Right? And we'll put accountability, T-I-B-T-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y. -I 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 right? So accountability becomes uh, extremely important. Anytime we're talking about sort of a, a post-war state, uh, there are going to have to be um, individuals that need to be accountable. This isn't always, sometimes wars begin, um, they last a certain number of years, um, the wars end and we move on. They're really, they're really earning trials to be held because there weren't any um, um, blaring atrocities during the war. Wars are bloody. Wars are graphic. Wars are extremely violent, right? But we want to make sure, and usually what's being held accountable when we have discussions of accountability, um, and especially if we're talking about punishment um, after the war, is specifically violations uh, um, of crimes mala and say, right? Crimes that were evil for the sake of being evil. Crimes that were brutal for the sake of being brutal mass rape, mass uh, extermination of children, uh, uh, village burning, uh, stuff like that. Um, those acts during the battle uh, are classified as, uh, among many, many others, are classified as mala and say, uh, and you can guarantee that after the, the war has subsided, um, that there's going to be uh, individuals from an international community looking for uh, just punishment. Okay, uh, and then lastly, number two, uh, reconciliation, R E C O N, or reconstruction, rather, R E C O N S T R U C T, reconstruction. And as we said, this is going to be aid slash aid, right? So that one of the one of the um, one of the things that you have to recognize is that after the battle, um, international communities and, and and even former former uh, conflicting parties. Um, participate in reconstruction. Uh, after the Vietnam War, uh, the United States um, has helped to stabilize uh, Vietnam, right, financially, um, despite the fact that we were engaged in a battle, a very heated battle, with Vietnam. Um, it's not something that, that we had to do, per se, um, but I think it was a good move, um, and I think reconstruction is important, right? Um, you have to rebuild. It's, it's not often the case that the two parties heated within the conflict, one of those two parties, the victor being, would go in and, um, and reconstruct the community. It's usually um, international third party um, states and nations that come to reconstruct. But reconstruction obviously um, um, directly correlates to... 
uh, hold on a second, I can't answer that right now. Um, reconstruction di directly correlates to uh, aid and assistance um, giving. Hold on, let me. Hello? Reconstruction directly correlates to uh, aid and uh, assistance, um, making and strengthening the community after uh, the war. Okay, uh, that was a very that was very long, and there's a lot that I that I um, I couldn't cover, but just a very brief recap of what happened. Um, first, we talked about the three phases of war: um, pre-war state, which is jus ad bellum. Right, that's pre-war. Then we talked about actually being in the conflict with Jews and below, right, and that's the actual war and justice in war. And then we talked about um, Jews post bellum, which is justice after the war. Um, also, what I incorporated, which isn't technically incorporated in most discussions on just war theory, uh, because I'm a peacemaker and a peace builder myself, were various strategies that could be implemented in those three phases. So that when we talk about Jews ad bellum. We can also talk about preventionist strategies. When we talk about jus and bello, we can talk about interventionist strategies. When we talk about jus post bellum, we can talk about aid and assistance giving. Then uh, I went and I discussed um, the six phases of um, just justice uh, prior to war, which is uh, jus ad bellum. Talked about many of those. Then I discussed the um, area for justice during the battle. And I spoke about that. The important thing to note um, is the use of proportionality in both uh, a pre-war and a war state. The difference uh, between proportionality in a pre-war and a war state is that in a pre-war state, proportionality refers to justifiable means to arrive at um, the end being victory. In a war state, proportionality refers to um, the use of force in proportion to a perceived threat. That's really the only distinction that I want to make. Everything else was pretty much self-explanatory. And then lastly, um, I discuss uh, uh, jus post ballon, which are the, um, the various things that we can do after the war um, uh, reconstruction. Reconstruction is uh, uh, very important. Uh, and also holding people accountable for their actions uh, and accountability uh, is important. I might, uh, on a quick tangent, do a, a video on accountability itself because there's various levels of accountability um, that might help thicken the discussion of uh, just war theory. Uh, but with respect to my lecture today, uh, that's all I have. Uh, that's all I have left. So thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. Um, I hope, um, despite the fact that this was a very long video, I hope that it will be informative. I hope you have a better understanding of uh, just war theory and the three phases of war. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Thank you and have a good day.